Malaika, how are you doing today? You good? Oh, that's great. Do you know what time it is? It's final last time. Come, let's sing. Tick tock, says the clock. We're glad that you are here. Tick tock, says the clock. God is very near. Tick tock, says the clock. It's time for Bible class. Tick tock, says the clock. To love and learn and love. Yay! Bible class time is my favorite time. <laughs> well, Malaika. I hope that we're not the only ones who came to Bible class today. Should we have a look who else is here? Ooh, Malaika, your foot. Oh, man. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, it's you. Do you see that, Malaika? Yes. Welcome to Bible class. We're so excited to have you join us today today at bible class we're going to learn all about walking with jesus isn't that cool yes do you love walks malaika i love walks too i love walking and looking at the garden looking at the flowers and the birdies of course yes but what does that remind you of malaika uh-huh. Yes, Malaika. Our Bible word song. Come, let's sing. Bible words, Bible words. Thank you, God, for Bible words. It's the truth for all to read. Thank you, God, for Bible words. <gasps> Oh, I just love our Bible word song. Well, now, Malaika, and you too, let's open up our ears and listen to a story about someone, people that walked with Jesus and learn more about how we can walk with Jesus. Are you ready, Malaika? Are you ready? Let's go listen. Hi there, I'm so excited to tell you today's story because it tells us about the six steps we've been learning about following Jesus. And when we walk with Jesus, we can get to know Jesus and we can live the way Jesus wants us to live. I hope you've been watching the last few weeks and if you remember the things that we've been learning, you'll see them all in today's story. Now today's story is a really special one because it tells us a little bit about how we heard about Jesus in Africa. Because remember the Jesus story starts in Israel because Jesus was Jewish. But very soon the disciples of Jesus started sharing his story with everybody because Jesus had asked them to share the good news in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria and Israel everywhere in the world and that's exactly what his disciples did and we can learn about today's story in the book of Acts and it was a guy named Philip who was a very excited follower of Jesus he was going around telling everybody about the amazing things that Jesus did Philip was walking along the road when all of a sudden next to him came a carriage now in those days only rich people traveled in carriages. And in this particular carriage was a very, very wealthy person. He was an Ethiopian, which means that he came from Africa. And it says that he was the treasurer for the queen of Ethiopia. Now the treasurer means that he was the person who was in charge of the money for the whole of the province of Ethiopia. He was a very wealthy man and he had a lot of important responsibilities. He was traveling along the road and he was sitting in his carriage 
reading the book of Isaiah, which is one of the books in the Old Testament. As he was reading it aloud, Philip moved closer to the carriage and he heard that this guy was reading from the book of Isaiah. And he asked him a question. He said to him, do you understand what you're reading? And this amazing, important man stopped and had a conversation with Philip. And he said to him, no, I don't really understand all this prophecy in the Old Testament. What is it talking about the Messiah? What is it talking about the promised king? And why will he have to suffer? And so Philip shared with him about how Jesus was the Messiah that was promised in the Old Testament and how Jesus had to suffer and die because of our sins and how Jesus was raised from the dead because he is the one who has the keys for eternal life. The guy from Ethiopia was so excited. He said, I want to be a follower of Jesus too. And then Philip explained to him that when you become a follower of Jesus, you can be baptized. And the Ethiopian said, here's water right here. There's nothing stopping me being baptized. Will you baptize me so that I can be a follower of Jesus too? And that's exactly what they did. He stepped down out of his carriage and he was baptized by Philip. And then he got back into his carriage and he took the good news with him all the way from that part of the country in Israel, all the way to Africa, because God loves Africa. He's got a plan and a purpose for Africa too. And if you're watching and you're living in Africa, you can give us a wave and say, yes, Jesus wants to walk with us and teach us in Africa too. That's why he made sure that one of the first people to hear the good news was this important Ethiopian official, this wealthy man who had a lot of responsibility. And when he went back to Ethiopia, he shared the good news with everyone in Africa. So did you notice the six steps that we've been talking about? Philip showed those steps and so did the Ethiopian. The first step was that they read God's word. That's what the Ethiopian was doing. The second one is he chose to follow Jesus. And then he invited his friends to meet Jesus too. And then he obeyed Jesus. He used his talents and he told everyone about Jesus. Well, you remember those six steps too, and you can be a follower of Jesus just like Philip and just like the Ethiopian too. Let's be followers of Jesus together and share the good news with others. Bye. Malaika, don't you just love learning about important places? I love learning about it too. Now, Malaika, do you know where Jesus lived and where he walked and walked and walked and met all kinds of people? Can you tell me? Yes. Uh-huh. Well done, Malaika. Malaika says that Jesus lived in Jerusalem. Can you say Jerusalem? Say it off. Say it with me. Jerusalem. Well done if you said it with me. Yay! Okay. Now, boys and girls, do you know where Ethiopia is? Do you know where Ethiopia is? Okay. Malaka, do you know? Okay, tell me. Yes! Malaka says that Ethiopia is in Africa. Well done! Now, Malaika, and you two boys and girls, do you know the country that you live in? Malaika, do you know the country that we live in? Okay, tell me. Yes? <laughs> well done, Malaika! Malaika says that we live in South Africa. Yes! Well done! Oh, okay. Malaika, should we say bye? And remember, boys and girls, that you can tell your friends and people around you about Jesus and how he 
loves you so so much. Right, Malika? Yes. Bye, boys and girls. 